If you've ever heard of microdosing GLP-1s and wondered if it's something that you should be doing, then stay tuned because I'm gonna explain to you what you're missing out on. Number one, microdosing is a real thing, but there is a reason that you're not gonna see a lot of providers or creators talking about it on social media. Microdosing is a very broad term that we use in medicine when we're talking about using the smaller than standard dose of a GLP-1. But here's the key part. It is not regulated. So there's not gonna be a formal strategy for you to do this. So you're not gonna find a nice little chart online to tell you exactly how to do this. You're not gonna find somebody on here saying, okay, this is exactly how you need to microdose because it doesn't exist. This is more of a clinical style that some providers use when people need a gentler approach to GLP-1 therapy. So here's some things that GLP-1 microdosing could look like. So you could start somebody at the lower than standard dose. You could also increase somebody at the slower than standard schedule. You could keep someone's doses at the low dose longer than the standard schedule, which is usually every four weeks. Or perhaps your provider might be making smaller dosage adjustments based on your side effects or your sensitivity to the medication. And there is no one way to do this. Every body is individualized in their treatment plan. So why would you want to consider microdosing? So there's a few reasons that I see in clinical practice that I can tell you about. I've got people who are super sensitive to nausea. Sometimes those folks, we need a gentler approach. People who have had a lot of GI issues in the past, sometimes we just don't wanna go full force, so we start in with a gentle ease in on the medication. When people feel good and are having good success on the lower doses, we don't always push the dose up on the standard titration schedule. And if I've got people that are taking these medications for the anti-inflammatory benefits and not as much for the weight loss, so people with autoimmune conditions, things like that, sometimes these folks do better with a gentler approach, maybe starting lower doses. Bottom line is that microdosing is not better or worse. It is just another tool that providers use to make your experience the best it could possibly be. So you need to be working with your healthcare provider on what works for you. I want you to hit that follow button right there if you want me to keep breaking down microdosing for you. And let me know in the comment section, have you been microdosing and have you been successful?